I want to talk about how to be set free so you can discover your secret. The key to freedom is knowledge. Just write these principles down. The key to freedom is knowledge. And the key to knowledge is truth. The key to knowledge is truth. And the key to truth is the manufacturer. I repeat, there's a principle. The key to truth is the manufacturer. Let's talk. The greatest enemy of man is not sin. The greatest enemy of man is not Satan. The greatest enemy of man is ignorance. Ignorance is the cause of all destruction. As a matter of fact, we blame so many things on this entity that we call devil that we've become irresponsible lately. We eat bad, get sick, and then blame it on the devil. Uh oh. Ignorance is the major enemy of man. God says, my people perish or they are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. And because they have rejected knowledge, I must also reject them and they cannot represent me. And then he goes one step further. He says, and I must also reject their children. Here's the point. If you don't know anything, and you teach your children what you know, (laughs) then your children is as smart as you. (laughs) Write this down. All I know is what I've learned. Say it with me. All I know is what I have learned. One more time. All I know is what I've learned. Now you got to let that sink in for a minute. No matter how many books you bought, you only know the ones you read. Don't look now if someone's looking at you. Some of you bought books last year and haven't cracked the pages yet. And you show people your library and try and impress them with what you don't know. You bought videotapes and haven't burst the plastic on it yet. You bought cassette tapes and haven't listened to them yet. You see, buying information doesn't give you revelation. Now here's what God says about that. He says, because you have rejected knowledge, I must reject you. It's impossible to reject something that was not available. Therefore, your ignorance was a decision. Half, no, 90% of the knowledge you need is right in your house in a book you never read. That's good. Every time you pass a library, knowledge incriminates you. God says you are perishing because you lack knowledge. So don't blame it on the devil. Don't blame it on your mother-in-law. Don't blame it on your teacher. Don't blame it on the school system. You don't need a teacher to learn. Oh, come on, say something, Minnesota. Some of you are blaming it on the education department. You don't need a professor to make you read a book. I'll never forget the day when I walked on the premises of the university I attended. 
I walked into my first class, freshman, and here comes this professor. And I was so excited, all my books, and I sat there ready, eager to learn. And I saw this great bank of reservoir of knowledge walk into the room. And I said to myself, I'm going to learn so much from this great man. And he stood there for five minutes and says, good morning. I'm glad that you are here today. Our course of study shall last for this semester. You have five books to read. Tonight I want you to take the first book, read the first five chapters, write a paper, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I just paid $2,000 to come to the school. Come back here, preacher. And he left. And I got mad. And I said, wait a minute. I just paid $2,000 tuition and another $1,600 for, for, for room and board. And I bought all these books for hundreds of dollars. And the man spent five minutes in the class. I went to the library and realized that I was going to be spending over $57,000 for someone to tell me, go and read a book. <laughs> Come on, clap. You know it's true. <laughs> Knowledge is the key to freedom. But the key to knowledge got to be checked carefully. I used to think that knowledge was power. That's not necessarily true. Because you can learn the wrong thing. Jesus said the only thing that can set you free is not knowledge, but knowledge of the truth. It's dangerous to learn the wrong thing well. Some people are experts in error. Come on, talk to me. <laughs> so knowledge doesn't mean you're smart, because what you may have learned may not be true. And the most dangerous thing for a person to have is knowledge that is erroneous that they believe is true. If you want another amazing Miles Monroe clip, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Then whatever you've done is no longer your potential. Therefore, you should never be impressed by what you've done. Because if you are impressed by what you've done, it'll stop you from doing what you could do. Yeah.